Yep. Nope. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll get it done. Okay. Yeah, after this video. Alright. Okay. Love to the missus. Yep. Bye. My Uncle Sam, who isn't really my uncle. It's a whole weird, you know, family thing three times removed. I don't want to get into it right now. However, today, apparently, is the day that I owe him money. That's my society. That's my country. Got to play by the rules. So let's say after I, you know, say exactly what had happened over this past year, uh, my Uncle Sam decides that uh, I deserve a refund. Okay, so what am I going to spend that money on? What are you going to spend your tax refund on? If you're getting one, that is. Be curious to know. I've got five ideas that I think are pretty good. Number one, hardware upgrades. It's always a good time to buy new hardware, but no better time like when you have that check in your hand and you're going, what am I going to do with this money? Uh, what, what, what do I need upgrading? Uh, well, I could upgrade my laptop, I could upgrade my computer, I could upgrade the microphone, I could upgrade this, I could upgrade that, I could upgrade this, and I could donate my old hardware, which then in turn becomes a tax write-off for the next year. Or I could possibly sell it online and save even more money. Either way, take the time to upgrade your life, just incrementally. Number two, an investment, like a, a certificate of deposit, a CD at your bank. Find one that's got a pretty decent rate, stick it in there for six months to a year. And, and I'm saying that as an example, you may want to throw your money into something else, something that has a higher uh, interest rate, but keep it in there for a full year because then you could kind of do it on a, a revolving basis. So say you get your tax refund, well, throw that into, uh, uh, just pretend you didn't get it, you know, throw it into an account. And then a year from that point, you could then withdraw the money. It will have generated more interest than it would have generated somewhere else. Unless, of course, you purchased something quite interesting with the money. Well, that's a different kind of interest, I guess. Number three, buy a subscription service. Something that lasts for the entire year. So if it's something like you know a media, whether it's video, uh, music, some kind of audio subscription service, something that is going to remind you throughout the year that you did something for yourself. You, you did something that wasn't just a, I bought a whole stack of yellow pads with my tax refund. I mean, that's, that's only fun if you're into things that are yellow and, you know, uh, papery. I'm just saying, a year-long subscription to something would do you a, a good... I will! I said after this video! He's text messaging me now! I'm freaking real! How the heck did he get my mobile number? <sighs> number four, register one piece of software you haven't before. So let's say there's a, a demo that you've had running on your system and you just haven't bothered to upgrade or you haven't bothered to register it. And it's a good piece of software that you use all the time. Or, let's say it's a piece of freeware and the author is always asking for donations. Just one. Out of all the programs on your hard drive, donate or purchase one registration. That's all. It goes to a, a worthy cause. If you like the software, if you like what the person did for you, well then, I'm almost done. Gosh, I knew it would be tricky to broadcast my life on the internet all the time. I had no idea. I had no idea. He's watching right now. Uncle Sam is watching this live video right now. Anyway, I'm, I'm suggesting you improve your life and you improve someone else's life by registering software. And then number five, stick cash in your car if you have a car. And I'm assuming you, you, you probably do if you live in America. Why would you stick cash in the car? Well, you never know when you're going to need it. You can put it in the glove compartment, or if you want to keep it safe, maybe throw it in the uh, trunk. Uh, so at some point in the future, you may be somewhere and realize, I have no money. They don't take credit cards, and I, I don't have my checkbook with me. How am I going to pay for something that I need to pay for? Well, you will be happy to know that you've always got your money in the car, if you don't have it in your wallet, that is. And it could happen. I always, uh, once a year... Um, 
purchase a, a like I go to the bank or usually I can roll my own too. Uh, those uh, quarters, like in the uh, bank wrapping paper thing, that what do they call them? The things of quarters. That sounded horrible. Uh, what do you what do you call those things? The rolls. The rolls of quarters. Stick them in your car because. Yeah, you know, if you ever hit a parking meter that only takes quarters, well, then you know you've got a roll or two of quarters. How could I forget roll? I mean, like, it wasn't even like a complex word. Like a skein of yarn. That would have been more difficult to remember than a roll of quarters. Shows you where my brain is. Yeah, I'm a little overtaxed right now. No pun intended. Or maybe it was. No matter, uh, I'm curious to know what you are going to spend your tax refund on if you are getting a tax refund, or if you aren't getting one, what would you want to spend it on? Something realistic, something that you, is attainable through a, a regular old tax refund. What is the one thing that you had purchased in the past with a tax refund if you've ever had one? I'm just looking for some other creative ideas to throw out there. My email address is chris at perillo.com, and as I mentioned throughout the video, I am broadcasting my life live online pretty much 24 hours a day. Uh, you never really know what's going to happen here. I'm always sitting at my desk, sometimes watching my windows fly around in the background. And of course, I've got a, just a, a wide variety of people who stop in and say hi inside the chat room, including Uncle Sam, who's apparently now in chat. Oh, and apparently Kentucky Wildcat is having a baby. Well, his wife is. Congratulations. All during this live broadcast that's happening 24 hours a day in front of hundreds of people, seven days a week, pretty much all the time, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.